Hi everybody, this is Michael Filesage checking in here today and I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, so if you guys remember in the last video I was talking about a little experiment that I'm going to do with the Pooh Lovers spawn, the last remaining jar of spawn that I have with the Pooh Lovers. Well, uh, I was talking about how I'm going to put it to three different substrates, right? Well, not really substrates, but like three different preparations of the same substrate, you know, half manure, half core. Uh, so the first one that I was going to do was going to be below pasteurization temperature, aka 140 to 160, so it's going to be below that. So I'm going to make one batch of them. And then I was also going to make a control group, which is just a usual pasteurization classic 140 to 160 at an hour and a half. And then the third one was going to be above that. So it's going to be a, uh, like 170 plus for an hour and a half. So that's what I did yesterday. Well, actually, that's not what I did. Uh, so since that video, there was a comment that somebody posted on that video who was saying that, uh, you know, like pasteurization is like basically uh, outdated and it's just misinformation and sterilization is the way to go with nutritious substrates. And, you know, obviously I was like, that's interesting because, uh, well, you know, like pasteurization, you get to keep the beneficial microbes that will fight off contamination while your mycelium colonizes and help it out and colonize colonizing it. Now, sterilization, it kills the bad and the good microbes, unlike pasteurization where it keeps the good. So sterilization kills everything. So so anything that wants to colonize that nutritious piece of substrate, it's a uh, hunting season for them. So it's not just the mycelium, but also molds and bacteria that that are competing so that that's the way that i understood it in fact that's the way that that basically like this is the main sort of i guess you could call it the mainstream understanding of it so that's why people generally say you have to pasteurize don't sterilize and i've i've heard people say they tried sterilizing and had you know failures just just like if they don't pasteurize it it just fails but he was saying the complete opposite of how a lot of mushroom farmers now like gourmet farmers are uh, basically sterilizing their sub their nutritious substrates inside an autoclave, a 20 PSI autoclave for four hours. So I was like, okay, well, might as well try it out. And, you know, worst case scenario, even if it doesn't work, this would be a good visual experiment for you guys to see directly in front of you, you know, how it's going to turn out. So I think it's interesting. So it's going to be an interesting educational thing too. So anyways, uh, I hope I'm wrong and I hope this does work. So fingers crossed. So what I did was... I sterilized uh, a jar of poo and I spawned six uh, six jars with the poo and then the pasteurization. I only did two jars with pasteurized poo that was pasteurized between 175 to 180 for an hour and a half. So that's far above pasteurization temperature because classic pasteurization says that uh, if you go over 170 for a few minutes, then just throw it away and start over because it, it's now you're partially sterilizing it. So I guess you could call it, it's not really pasteurization what I did. It's more of a partial sterilization. Yeah, that's basically what's going on. So the jars are off to the side. There's nothing interesting right now. I did it last night. There's no signs of growth, good or bad. Uh, so I will definitely keep you guys posted. So I'm going to make a, this, this is going to be a new series. Uh, I guess uh, I, I'm going to think up of a name later, maybe just pasteurization versus sterilization poo <laughs> or something of that sort. So yeah, um, keep posted on that. And also uh, just some other quick updates. Uh, I spawned a uh, Floridian grass lover, one of the jars that I suspect is bacterial, not because the spawn, the, the inoculant was bacterial, but because I probably effed up the um, sterile technique with this with these guys. So the other two guys are doing fine but i think i may have touched if i recall correctly i may have touched the lid of the uh of the jar when i was putting in putting in the wedge hopefully i get some fruits but yeah these guys obviously the classic ones you know they're just tearing the substrate apart i just put casing wherever they tear it apart hoping for fruits uh, they they fruited again they fruited six fruits they were beautiful and then they just noped out so I'm just wondering what exactly is going on. I guess these guys just sort of gave up. They're like, hey, you know what? We're really comfortable in here. So we're just going to keep producing truffles and make them bigger and bigger. But, you know, I want to make fruiting content for you guys. This is going to be a video. So I'm considering I might just harvest everything, make a video, harvesting video, and uh, just spawn some new ones because I got 14 jars inoculated right now. Some of them fully colonized, some of them not. Six of them are um, grass lover species. One of it is the Mexican grass lovers, three of them. And then the other three are Floridian grass lovers. And I want to get some spore prints for grow alongs, you know, in the future. So that's what's going on. And over here, as you can see, these are the steel mags. 
Uh, I just bought them in these little containers two days ago uh, just for the grow along, but actually it's not really for the grow along. I was doing some grain to grain in the sab for the grow along and uh, I had some extra grains on the bottom. So I uh, spawned it to these little uh, core buckets, core containers. It's gonna be a fun little grow. And we have the Pooh Lover shoe box. Okay, if you guys remember, there were two Pooh Lover shoe boxes, right? One of them, just like I said in the last video, Okay, because these were classically pasteurized, regular, supposedly healthy pasteurization, proper pasteurization. And I told you guys, it's they're going to contam. They're going to contam like clockwork. Then that one got tricked the crap out. Okay, and uh, I, I'm going to post a picture here. You guys can see how much trike there that there is. Uh, so it came up overnight, basically. Uh, and that one I didn't even case because I was casing. I cased him yesterday, right? I was gonna case him yesterday. I only was able to case this guy because there was still no trike. But the other one, I suspected there was like little, it was starting to make some trike. And this morning I checked and it was all over uh, before sporulation, thankfully. Here is how it's looking. As you can see, I cased it just last night. You know, they're very fast. You can see some mycelium poking out already. Such a shame. I just wish it wouldn't trike out always. Uh, but uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I, there's some parts that I suspect maybe trike forming over there you see that little those little white fluffy balls yeah looks like uh maybe trike but we'll see in a couple of hours but that's basically what's going on guys so uh oh yes yes and the traditional poo cakes that we've got going i don't want to get my hopes up or i don't want to get your hopes up but there may be some primordia forming in one of the jars uh, the reason I'm not showing it, I don't want to jinx it or anything. I don't know. I just I just hope for the best. But if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. And eventually I will get it. That is a fact. So it's just a matter of time and finding the causes. And, you know, I'm really, really curious to find out what, how I could make that poo work. Because I'm personally very, very curious about why it's not working. Because on paper, everything is perfect. It should It should be working, but it's not every single time. Uh, so hopefully we can glean something from this experience because I think this is the first time anybody's actually also documenting like these kinds of problems and trying to find a solution on camera so that you guys are also a part of the process and you guys can see uh, hopefully we'll eventually get to the root of it and I think it'll be an interesting document to have all these videos demonstrating like uh, such a scenario so in the future somebody may have a similar scenario and then they may look into it and I don't know hopefully this information can be helpful to people. So anyways, guys, that's that's the video. Hope you guys are doing great. Michael File Sage, checking out.